All right, welcome back. Just a nice, easy five mile recovery run today. Nothing crazy after yesterday's VO2 max interval session. Legs are feeling a little dead right now. Uh, there's like no bounce. So I was just taking a quick like walk break to kind of stretch out a little bit. I was thinking about doing two runs today uh, if I could have woken up early, uh, but I didn't, I slept in. So yeah, just one run today, but I'm okay with that. You know, it's still December, first real week of training. I kind of wanted to get the two a day started early on so that it would just kind of become a habit. But I'm not worried about it, we'll get them started later. You know, right now it's just making sure that I am getting into the season, ramping up like slowly enough so that I'm not gonna hurt myself, uh, get any like overuse injury or anything like that. Just listening to my body and you know, doing what it needs. It's actually a nice day today, I'm wearing shorts. Listening to an Audible book right now. Still listening to Dune. I've listened to a couple other books in between, but some of you that were following me in the summer know that I started it back then. Took some time off of it, and now I'm jumping back into it. A little over halfway through, so yeah, I'm getting really excited for the movie to come out whenever it does. All right, let's go. It's just a nice, easy recovery run. Well, that was short, at least. <laughs> Gosh. All right, nice and easy recovery run. I can't remember what I was gonna talk about. That car alarm just really threw me off. Uh, I was thinking, like I said earlier in the video, about doing two runs today, but not gonna happen. Um, I'm actually just gonna move uh, the session to tomorrow that I was thinking about doing today. It's gonna be a little bit over an hour, hopefully. Uh, and there's gonna be some hill repeats in there. Not too far away from my house, there's some good little hills. Kind of like a gravel path that I like running on. Uh, so if it hasn't rained too much recently, which it hasn't, which is good, so it'll be dry and it's kind of nice. But there's also, yeah, there's some stuff. I'll show you that tomorrow though. That's all for tomorrow. Today, what I wanna do is uh, go through and answer some comments on some past videos, some recent videos videos because as I've been posting every day recently it's been really hard to actually respond to every single comment so I want to pick a couple out and read them and respond to them. Uh, I think uh, you guys thought it was really cool last time I did this so maybe we'll make this a regular thing maybe weekly or something like that. But this first one here as usual, running lifestyle and technology says, oof, system shock sessions are always hard, uh, but next session will go much better. The question is also why the sunglasses on a gray freezing day? Uh, and then he talks about like, I asked a question about headphones, so he kind of answers that. Um, but I did want to answer the question about sunglasses. So, and yes, yeah, sunglasses are normally worn when it's sunny, hence the name. But I like bringing them out on pretty much every run because I also put them on when it gets really windy and they protect my eyes from the wind. Uh, just also if it starts raining, uh, they protect you from the rain. So it's pretty much just a habit to put them on my head and take them out on almost every run. And especially these really cold days when it's getting freezing and below, when the wind starts whipping like straight at me or even sometimes crosswinds, like it just kind of bugs my eyes a little bit. It helps me enjoy the run a little bit more and not have that kind of like, just like painful feeling of running into the wind. So there you go. And the next question is from BZ. Uh, this was a comment on a recent live stream. He asks, what is the song for the two minute countdown? And I've actually had a couple people ask that. So it's called Arisaif by Thomas Novoa. And I'll put that down here at the bottom of the screen. I don't exactly know how to pronounce it, but there you go. That's the name of the song. 
Uh, I don't know if it's on streaming anywhere. I got it off Artlist. And the next comment is from Dodd C. He says, and this is, he's talking about the Lone Peak 5s that are about ready to come out. He says, hope they're more durable than the Temp 2s. I really like that shoe, but the durability and grip issues killed it for me. Uh, so I wanted to kind of talk about that. The Lone Peaks and the Temps are very different shoes. Uh, they might look similar. They might both sound like they're trail shoes, but they're really meant for totally different purposes in my mind. Uh, the Lone Peaks have a much more aggressive tread. The Temps have a very minimal tread. Uh, the Temps are more for dry, uh, kind of like faster conditions, in my opinion. The Lone Peaks are for more wet, muddy, uh, just kind of like more gnarly conditions. Uh, the Temps are much better like running shoes. I feel like I can like run a lot faster and run a lot farther in them. The Temps, when I put them on, I just feel like I wanna go fast. They really rock your foot forward. The Lone Peaks are much more like flat. Uh, I don't feel like they rock as well. Uh, so Temps would be a good one for if you're mixing in some road and trails and the trails are pretty like buffed out, like not too technical, uh, not muddy at all. The Lone Peaks, Definitely uh, more for those gnarly, muddy conditions. So there you go. And the next question here is from Garrett Seba. He said, this is a question on my Run Rabbit Run 100 video. He says, how's the course for a first 100? Uh, it says he will have several 50s done by race time. And uh, for me, like I'll just say, Run Rabbit Run is a very hard race. It's a hard rock qualifier for a reason, uh, but also, my first 100 was the Grindstone 100, and that was also a really hard race, also a hard rock qualifier. So I feel like if you want to do a race, go ahead and do it. I think it really depends on the person. If you're the kind of person that, uh, like to put it bluntly, like quits easily, don't do a hard race first, do something easier. Uh, if you're the kind of person that is just super stubborn and will stick through anything, no matter how hard it is, then go for whatever race you want. Uh, for me, I am more of that super stubborn kind of person. Like I'm just not gonna quit unless I'm injured. And so for Grindstone, yeah, it took almost 34 hours, but I finished that race and got my first hundred. <laughs> Uh, my second hundred was the Run Rabbit Run, also a hard rock qualifier, very hard, took almost 34 hours, but I stuck with it and it was super fun. And then, since then I've done a few that are a little bit, I would consider maybe easier hundred milers, even though there is no easy hundred miler, they're all hard, but that's what I would say. I would say, you know, take a look at how stubborn you are, evaluate your mental toughness and if it fits, then go ahead and do one of the really hard races. Go ahead and do Run Rabbit Run. It's the most beautiful 100 miler I've ever done. And um, yeah, I think it'd be great. But if you're the kind of person that you might be worried about that kind of thing, about maybe quitting early, then bring a crew, bring pacers, and then make sure that they don't let you quit. So there you go. Thanks for the question, Garrett. Good luck at Run Rabbit Run 100. It's gonna be awesome. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video today. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I'm really excited about tomorrow. The run tomorrow is going to be fun. Um, but also, my DaVinci Resolve speed editor is supposed to be delivered tomorrow. So, I am very excited about that because, as you know, DaVinci Resolve is my video editor of choice. And the cut page is something that is makes it really easy uh, to learn how to make videos and things like that. But it's, there's also some things about it that are just sort of time consuming. And so the, this uh, DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor keyboard is gonna come in. It's got a wheel where you can like scrub through your timeline real fast. It's got all the custom buttons that you need right there. Bluetooth, I'm really excited about it. So that's coming tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to get that in tomorrow's video uh, if it comes early enough. Sometimes UPS doesn't come till like 9 p.m. to my house. So we'll see. Uh, but I'll try and get it in the video for tomorrow. I'll try and give you guys like a little unboxing. So stop back by tomorrow for that. Um, but that's it for this video. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.